So your favicon is not showing in WordPress. The favicon is the site icon, of course, that shows up in the browser tab and in the SERPs, and it's absolutely worth fixing. Um, it's a quick and sort of underappreciated way to build brand awareness and credibility right off the bat. Almost subconsciously, if I see the globe placeholder when there is not a favicon in place or the WordPress placeholder, um, the site loses credibility for me straight away. So fortunately, there's a couple really straightforward ways to fix this. And the first um, two approaches are going to fix the issue for the vast majority of WordPress users. So right out of the gate, step one is to re-upload your favicon image in WordPress. Before you do so, make sure you rename the image file to a different name than you used previously. Ensure that it's either a JPEG or a PNG file, and it should be square. And the dimensions can vary, but typically 512 by 512 pixels is sufficient, but your theme will, will dictate this. So let me show you what I mean. We'll jump over to WordPress. You'll go to Appearance, Customize. And then within the customizer menu for generate press, yours may be a little bit different, but mostly it's going to be under the site identity sub uh, tab here. And then at the bottom, you'll select site icon, change image. Make sure upload file is selected from the sub tab, select files, and then you'll, you'll download your new image file. Um, once you're done, make sure to hit published. And then we'll jump over to step number two. Okay, this second step of clearing your cache is what trips most users up. So once you've re-uploaded your new site icon image, you might notice it's still not populating. In most cases, this is because your old cached version is what's still being fetched. So you have to clear the cache to make sure that the new one is fetched instead. You can clear cache at three different levels. In most cases, if you clear your browser and your server or your host cache, that'll be enough. But sometimes if you have a CDN, you might also have to clear cache at the CDN level. So for Niche Twins as the example here, we're using Cloudways as our host. We use Cloudflare as our CDN. And I'm currently using the Google Chrome browser. So as an example, within Google, you'd first go to the top right-hand corner here with the three little dots. You'll go down to history and then click history again. From here, you'd go to clear browsing data, in the left menu. And then you'll have the option to change the time range of where you'll be clearing the browsing data from. You can do all time and then select browsing history, cookies and cache images and files and then clear data. So within the browser, you've now cleared your cache. The next step is to go to your host or your server. In this instance, as I mentioned, we use Cloudways. So if you have Cloudways, you'll select the server. And then within the server, you'll go to Manage Services. And on the bottom here under Varnish, you'll click Purge. So that will clear the cache at the server level. Another way to do this that's actually easier and that Mike and I use quite frequently is we have the Breeze plugin that's associated with Cloudways, so we can purge the cache here, um, easier than signing into the server. And then the third and final way for us would be to go to Cloudflare, would sign in, would select our website, nichetwins.com, and then would purge cache in the top right-hand corner here. So once all three are complete, you also need to give this a little bit of time. So you could purge all of them and still not see it. It's not unusual for this to take a few minutes, potentially longer, so be patient. Um, but at the end of the, the 10, 15 minutes or so, you should see your new favicon appear. So you've re-uploaded your favicon image file. You've cleared cache at all three levels, but you're still not seeing it. This third step of installing the really simple SSL plugin will likely fix the problem for you. Briefly, the issue you might be encountering is known as the mixed content error. So what does that mean? As many of you are aware, probably just from browsing the internet, you've seen that Google's advocated for what's called an SSL certificate. It's a digital protocol and it's simply a means to show that a website's identity is known and therefore this, the connection is secure. If you have an SSL certificate already installed, your URL will be denoted by HTTPS. Websites that don't have this installed or insecure websites are denoted by just HTTP. 
in some cases, even though you've already installed this SSL certificate, the server is going to load your page over HTTPS, but then it's going to request your site icon or your favicon insecurely under the HTTP protocol. Um, and that results in a mixed content error. So first thing to do here is to check if this is in fact the case. And you can simply do that by right clicking on your page, hitting inspect, and then go to the console tab here. Under the console tab, you will see a mixed content error thrown here if in fact this is the issue that you're dealing with. So let's say that you see that, yes, this is in fact the problem. Your next step is to install, as I mentioned, the really simple SSL plugin. So we'll go back to WordPress. You'll go down to plugins, add new. Within the search, you'll type simple SSL plugin. You'll find it and click install now and then activate. And then once it's activated, go back over to plugins, scroll down until you find it, and then go to settings. And then here they do make this really simple. You just hit activate SSL. So then this, once it's uploaded, clear your cache, and this should override the error that's happening and, and fetch your favicon under the HTTPS protocol correctly. When all else fails, your fourth and final option is to update your root folder and then edit the theme header code directly. So you're gonna start out by getting your favicon image file again into a PNG or JPEG format. And then you'll access what's known as your website's cPanel. You can access that through the link here. Within the cPanel file manager, go to the root folder of your website and select upload. And then you'll rename your image file before uploading it to favicon.ico. This is an important step. If you don't rename your image file, the second part of this process will not work. So the next step will require us to go back into WordPress where we'll head in a moment, but you're gonna go into your theme editor and then within the theme header or the header.php file, we're going to paste some code just beneath the section that says head. So that code we're going to insert is located here. So we'll highlight it, hit copy, and we'll navigate back over to WordPress. So from here, you'll go to appearance and then down to theme file editor. On the right hand side, we'll find that theme header, header.php option. And then as I mentioned, you'll see the section head. So we'll hit enter right underneath and then we can paste in the code. When you've pasted it, scroll down, hit update file, clear cache, give it a little bit of time and you should now see your favicon populating on your website. I hope that video helped you out. If it did, you can help us out by liking and subscribing to the channel and you can head over to nichetwins.com for more blogging tips and resources.